Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Today we're going to make this masculine card. I uh, saw a card on Pinterest and I thought, you know what, I wonder if I could take items that I have and create my own card. And this is what I came up with. I'm going to change just a few things on here, but uh, you'll get the gist of how I made it. Um, I'm showcasing the wood textures paper. I mean, I love this paper. The possibilities are endless. You could use it all different ways. The hardest thing I had to do today was try and figure out which one I wanted to use. So I went with one that's just a little bit different. As you can see, it's a little darker, but I wanted those black lines in there. If you click on the eye in the top right hand corner or go down to the description, um, there will be links directly back to this blog post with all the supplies and the measurements for this card. So let me tell you first off what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Everyday Jars dies and I'm going to take out the Big Mason Jar and this is for like your water, alright? So right off the bat, let's grab some Whisper White and we're going to go ahead and cut out the mason jar. Okay, got our mason jar cut out. And then I used a piece of that wood textures paper. See, it's kind of that blonde color, which I thought, hmm, I'm not a beer drinker, but beer looks kind of blondy brown to me. So that's what I'm going to do for the middle. Let's pull this out a little so I can get a good. All right. Okay, we've got that done. Now, here's where I had to get a little creative. I said, okay, what are we going to do for the handle? So, what I'm going to do is, let's grab a piece of Whisper White. And I've got my layering ovals here. And I'm going to take the two smallest sizes, okay, of my layering ovals. I'm going to put my first one down, which is the larger of the two, okay? Let's run it through. Okay. Now, take the oval that we cut out and then let's I'm just going to put it right about there. I want it to be. Grabbing my scotch removable tape because I'm not going to mess around with it. I want it to get where I want it and stay where I want it. There we go. Now yeah, that'll hold that paper right where I want it. Because my plates are bowed. You know, you try and remember to flip them back and forth and do all those good things. Sometimes you just forget. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's... Go ahead and we're done with those. Get those out of the way. Alrighty. Alright, let's see what we want to do now. Let's bring in some scrap paper. And I want this to look kind of rustic-y. So what I'm gonna do is on my jar, I'm gonna use some crumb cake. You're going to be shocked at how easy this card is. Just taking my sponge, which of course you know I have my tab on it. And I'm just going to just make it not look weathered. Just going all the way around it. You can do this however you want. This one over here I used some... Uh, 
oh crushed curry on it and I you know I wasn't feeling it so do whatever you want I'm also gonna put some on the handle just kind of you could use very vanilla but I didn't want to go to that extreme either whoops Alrighty, okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Tombow and I'm just gonna put a little bit, so that's way too much. Grab me a little piece of card. And it will dry clear, of course, just on both sides. Okay, put that in the trash, and then we're just going to pick it up, and we're just making our, making our mug handle. Why well, I like the Tombow for this is I can slide it in and slide it out, so I'm happy with the way that handle looks. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. Now, let's take our inside beer. That's what I'm going to call this. Just a little bit. I'm just putting a little bit of this on here. I don't want too much, but I need to be able to see it. Just taking a little bit. All right. Okay. Now, while we've got that, why don't we... We're going to leave that out. We're going to need it here in just a second. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way because I want to line this up. I'm going to bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then from the Hello Friend set, I'm going to do the Thinking of My Friend today right here. So I already have that on a block. Level pressure to get it to stick. Oh, too far to the left. All right, guess what? We're flipping it over. It's a good thing. It's a good thing it's two sided. Let's try it again. Okay, we're going to move it over. Sometimes the circular ones probably should have got my stamp. There we go. My stamping my jig out. That would have been great for that, but that's okay. We got it done. So, okay, now let's put it together. Aren't you glad there's two sides to every piece of paper? Even that wood textures paper, two sides. And I'm doing this again with the Tombow just so I have some flexibility as to where it's going to go, where I want to line it up. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, now let's, I've got a little glue on my hands. We're going to go ahead and Let's put us some fast peas down. Start off light touch, and then you just want to check light touch, and then you want to just check mark. I'm telling you, this stuff will stick. I'm using crumb cake for the base. Okay. <clears throat> or what? See, this is the other side of that paper. Mm, it's, it's almost like a crime to have to not be able to see both sides, isn't it? That's why I sit and pondered and pondered, like, which one do I want to use? 
Okay, put this down. I want the darker on this side. The nail hole showing at the top. All right, that's good. Now this one, I put lower because I wasn't real sure how I wanted to do this. This is, you know, this was kind of just designing as I was going. So this one I'm going to put up a little higher. So I need to do that right off, and I'm going to do that also with some fast fuse. And I know you're like, okay, that looks like a mason jar. Uh, it does right now, but it won't in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put it up a little, because I'm going to put me some suds, and I have just a little bit of, there we go, okay, all right, now I've got my one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch punches. Do you remember how many times I've said, don't throw any scraps away, don't throw any scraps away? Well, this is exactly why. I'm just going to whip these out. We'll do three of those. Let's get the three-quarter inch. And while we've got this one, we can get a couple of these out of here. See, use them up. And I had no idea at the time that I saved these that I would be using them for something like this. So see, you never know. Got to just be prepared. Always thinking outside the box. Okay, if I've used that up pretty good. Let's get some more of the three quarters though. Let's see, can I get one out of this? I believe I can. Can I get another one over here? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, sure did. And one more here. There you go. Okay. Now that I've got all those, I don't know how many of them I'm going to use, so I just did a bunch of extras. So I've got three sizes. I'm just flinging them up here on my scrap paper. And then, what I found was the easiest to do these was just, I was just taking my sponger, okay, and basically, what I was doing was just blobbing on the top of them, not rubbing them around, just kind of Knocking that white off. That way they have different colors. Okay, I kind of like that. Because I'm going for that rustic look, remember? All right, let's see if we're good for now. So, some of these we're going to put all the way down. So, let's go ahead and get our Tombow out again. And I'm just going to put a little in here. And I'm going to put some of the bigger bubbles down here. And build up. Okay. And if I need to, I can cut some more. But I want it to look like it's frothed at the top and then kind of spilling over too. So. Do a little of this. I might need a few more. And then what we're going to start doing is popping them up. Which I think we'll start doing that now. And I'm actually going to use the mini <clears throat> dimensionals that we have now. I may use the regular dimensionals on the larger ones. But I'm definitely going to use, see how I'm using these edges? Don't waste it. Edges work just fine. Let's see, let's put one there. 
it's got adhesive on it just like everything else. So, let's see. Remember, we're just kind of playing around as we go. Let's flip all these over. Now, let's grab some of these. One here. You get a ton of these. Sometimes we'd cut them apart. Not necessary anymore. Cutting those larger ones apart. These are perfect. Let's see here. <clears throat> I think we need some more on this side. Simple enough. And we're going to do the smaller ones. Oops. All right. I think one may hit the ground, which my schnauzer will enjoy that. Remember, we just daubed it up, so it doesn't take but just a second. And actually, multitask and pull one over while I'm daubing one up. All right. Turn it over. Ignore these terrible hands. I was out working in the flower beds today, and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, and that's just the way it is. Oh, I'm kind of liking that, you guys. Pretty stinking cute. How fast is this for a masculine card? And obviously, none of them are going to be the same because you're going to be... This one right here is bugging me. Let me roll him in a little. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? How fast was that, too? All right. So, there you go. Remember, I used the Thinking of My Friend, Layering Ovals, My Everyday Jars, and Punches. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it a thumbs up. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal. Hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting.